if we go over here, I found a secret, which I'm going to show you a lot. But I think if we go up here, I found this last time by exploring the paths. The music changes. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Pixelian and welcome to Virtual Towers Online. Now this is the pre-release alpha demo, as you can see from the bottom left, of an, of an online game that's going to be a complete recreation of Alton Towers in the UK. Um, I love this theme park, I've had, I have explored this um, demo as well, um, so, and it is very good, it's like really accurate how much detail is in this. Um, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to jump in, I'm going to look around everything they've got in, in this demo at the minute, which is everything you see on the screen now, it's just X Sector. So if you don't know anything about Alton Towers, that's Oblivion, Smiler and Enterprise. Um, so we're going to have a look around, see what there is, and also let's see if there's any secrets we can find as well, because I, I did find something last time which I'm going to show you. Okay, so we're in. This is where we start, as we can't, obviously we can't go back because they've got these fences here, which are just like the ones we have in real life, which is quite cool. Um, why are Sainsbury's at my door? Two thousand years later. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason Sainsbury's just just arrived at my door. <laughs> Don't know why. I weren't expecting them, but anyway. Um, back to this. So this is the X sector area. If you're not, if you've been to Alton Towers, you'll recognise this entrance. Um, got all these signs there as well in in real life, which is cool. And we've got these little smiler signs here, which is also there in real life. I'm going to be saying that a lot in this video. It's there in real life because it's very very detailed. Um, there it goes, we'll have a little look at it going off wide. So it isn't isn't that normal. Smile's actually jeweling in this. What? It never usually jewels. It's very rare to get one of those. <laughs> there it goes, down its little first drops. Oh now my mum's calling me. Ah, back in a minute again, guys, sorry. Two thousand years later. Ah, right, I'm back again. Can we just get on this video? <laughs> There we go, smile again. Just shows you that anyway. Right, let's make our way into X Sector and actually start getting this video done because we've had interruptions so far. Um, first scene, please, then my mum. Right, so before we go on to smile or anything, here, as you may know, we've got the fried chicken co. And this is more benches around the back. Well, we'll go on the front area because then you can see the actual entrance to it. Um, yeah, this is very realistic, this. I'm sure if you've been, I'm sure a lot of you probably have been to Auto Towers, you will recognise all of this. Um, so yeah, here's the fried chicken co. The bins are exactly like it, like it there as well, and these things are there as well. Um, but yeah, this is very accurate in here. It's very cool. Except it doesn't, it doesn't actually have virtual towers online on there, but that's obvious because it's in a game. Um, but yeah, we've got some nice seats. These seats are exactly how they are in real life. They're like the American diner sort of style, which is very cool. Um, got these little bits as well, which is very realistic as well. Um, we've got this as well. It's very cool. Um, up here we've got where you order, we've got the tills, and we've got these buzzers that for some reason are there. I don't really know what they're for, I can't remember. I haven't been in the fried chicken go for a little while, so... Um, yeah, I mean, the last time I went to Rock Towers, I went for lunch in the Rockcoaster restaurant, because that was brand new. And it still is brand new, so I've been in there quite a few times, because it's really cool. Uh, here's Oblivion. Let's get run and get a good shot of this coming down, shall we? This will do from here. There we go. The world's first B&M dive coaster, of course. There it goes. Very nice sound effects. I think they are they are proper recorded sound effects from the park because they sound exactly like this as well. Smile does have this sort of weird roaring noise. There we go. Very cool. Right, so let's start off with the smiler, shall we? So it currently says close on there, which isn't a good sign. Um, all these signs are very realistic as well, as you can tell. Um, now in the actual game, I'm presuming you'll be able to walk through the queue and stuff, but I don't think the indoor queue is actually ready on this yet. But we'll go down the queue anyway, just have a look at it from below, because it looks pretty cool. Look at this, very cool. That's obviously we're going for the fast track queue, because it's quicker. <laughs> you don't want to walk through all of the cattle pen, which Smiler has, because like, it takes ages, that does. Um, we're going to go for any one of these, but now it should tell us what button we've got to press to... Um, oh, I went one the wrong one, oh no, it should be alright. Uh, what should it say? But you can still ride it by pressing L. Okay, I pressed L, and I can't move the camera, but we're stuck here, okay. Nothing to point out in the station. It's very dark and weird in here, but they've got the they've roughly got it all um, set up. Oh, I like that. That's what it does in real life as well. Very cool. I don't want to get out. Come back down. I haven't actually talked about what this game's made in. So this project originally started as Project Towers, and it was uh, a No Limits 2 recreation, I believe. 
it might have even been a Rollercoaster Tycoon project before that, I can't exactly remember. But it definitely was a No Limits 2 project, but then they decided to change it and make it a proper game in Unreal Engine, which is a very big um, game engine, which, if you might know. Um, so yeah, if this is gonna, this is very, this is like an actual game. It's really cool, not just like a No Limits 2 recreation. I've been following this for ages as well. The people who've done this have done such a good job. Um, the restraints have come back down, so can we go? <laughs> oh yeah, we're going. The gates are opening. Right, let's go. There's a sort of smoke there. Right, we're going down into the first inversion now indoors. Oh, the music's got cut out there. Here we are into the little break one bit. The track is very well detailed. The lift hills on the on this on this coaster in real life is like this as well. It's very cool. Shady could do a bit more detailing though, couldn't it? <laughs> Possibly. Can't expect everything, can we? I think she's a member of this as well. Like, it's all, you know, brand new. It's all in alpha as well, pre release. Are we going? Come on then. Here, here we go. Up oh, the first lift deal. If you don't know anything about the smile, this is a Gerslau Infinity Coaster, opened in 2013. And yeah, most inversions on any roller coaster in the world. It's pretty good. I do like this ride in real life, it is good fun. But it's not that great on the back though, because it can get a little bit rough. But on the front, it's nice and smooth, nice and fun and enjoyable. And it is one of my favourite coasters as well, I do, do enjoy it. Alright, let's go. I want to drop into the first inversion now. Here we go. layout is exactly the same as well, which is very cool. Alright, now into the mid-course break one, we're going up the second lift hill, which is the vertical lift hill. I don't really know what I think about these vertical lift hills, they're strange. Sometimes it feels, sometimes it's they're good, sometimes they're not so good, it's, I, know, I keep changing my opinion on them. <laughs> Next time I go to Hong Towns, I'll be sure to, to film a vlog and update, and update that for you guys. Uh, they always feel very weird, these. <laughs> Out we go. Love the, love the soundtrack where I'm in school as well. Okay, here we go for part two of the ride. Let's go. a little bit rough this part of the ride, the two corkscrews. <laughs> and into the brakes. There we go. Very cool. If you just to the right would have in that building we have the maintenance shed as well. Can't look around because the mount is stuck. So now if I just press L, I think it's oh we can oh we can toggle across. That would have been helpful. <laughs> oh well. How do I get off? Alright, it should be E. Oh yeah we go, yeah E. Oh we'll put us back here, it's a bit annoying. Oh we have to run run back through the exit. But there we go, that was a smiler. Very, very cool recreation. Very accurate, very detailed as well. I honestly can't wait if this becomes a real game because they're planning on making a multiplayer feature as well, um, which means you're going to be able to see other players, which is really cool. And I think they're doing something with operators as well, where you can become an operator. I'm pretty sure and operate the rides. I, I might be wrong. This is what I've, I remember. I think I remember, but who knows? I could be completely wrong. There's Oblivion again, going down its drop. Let's watch it from here, shall we? There it goes. I do like that sound effect, it is very accurate. Can we get down these stairs? Yep, yeah, we can. And it comes out the other end as well. So here's the rehydrator, which is a little shop up there. Um, here is that little sm challenge smiler thing. There we go. Alright, so then here is Oblivion. Let's see if we can go on this, shall we? I'm not sure if we can go on this, actually, I can't remember. Um, so here's the main queue. Got the height requirement. Oh, we're just up there, aren't we? For the neck. Um, all the height, equip, height, uh, not height equipment, that's height, that's the height uh, restrictions. It's the notice board thing. Let's run through this fast track a single ride. Technically, I'm not breaking the rule, I'm a single rider. Oh, that's very accurate. Yeah, you can't kill you, come on. 
So if you don't know about Sawyer this this ride, the um the queue that video in the in the queue line says about stuff you could like tries to make it really sound bad because you can like die and stuff. But um, but that's because at the time this opened in 1998, there had never been a ride that went underground before. So it's a big thing for them. Got some vending machines here like in real life. It's pretty cool. And there's the station up there from underneath, which you do go in the queue in real life. It's very cool. Um, I said real life a lot, haven't I? <laughs> there you go. Bins. The Alton Towers bins. Hashtag Alton Towers bins. Right. Do you want to go fast track or single ride? Technically it's a single ride. Let's just go through there. I mean, it doesn't make the queue any shorter. It's all the same. There it is. The big stacking break run. I don't know if it will stack in this or not. Um, going through this queue. It is amazing how detailed this is and how exact it is in real life. Right, we're in the station. The station looks a lot better than this, actually. Oh, can we actually properly go... What? I'm float... Whoa, I'm float... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fell through. Ah. Let me check the controls. I'm not sure. I like how the restraints open different times as well. That's something the Limits 2 doesn't get because the Limits 2, they always open at the same time. Um... I like that. I should have get that. To go on the obliv go on Oblivion, you've got to press O. That'll do at the top. That that'll do. I mean it's not a very exciting ride anyway, it's just the well, it is exciting, but it's not like very long, is it? Just the drop and the turn and that's it. Right, here we go. I do like this drop. This drop is very good, it is very intense as well. And the noise it makes at the bottom is mad. <laughs> obviously there's been a lot of bigger uh dive coasters now. Obviously Val Raven and Sheikra. And yeah. Right, let's drop can't move the mouse again, I was woodle it more down. There we go. Yow. And out. That's black hole music there as well. And into the brakes. There we go. That's Oblivion. Very 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 cool. What unique? What's gonna say unique for me? I mean um very um realistic, that's the word. I don't know how that's anything to do with unique, but anyway. And of course we've got a stack on the bait one, so I'm just gonna click O to get off. Oh, no, back at the top. Let's do it again, yeah. How do I get off again? Oh, L Smiler. <laughs> How do I get off? It's E, I forgot. Right, now we're over this side. Is it possible just to run over? I don't want to fall back through again, but is it possible just to run over? Yes, I did it. Right, we got the actual exit now. There's the lift hill. I skipped that bit out. Because, you know, it's just the lift hill, not that exciting, is it? Um, I'll watch it go up, why not? There it goes. it goes. These sound effects are so realistic and makes that exact noise in real life as well. I do love this, it's good. Um, yeah, there's the maintenance sheds for Oblivion. I do, f if I remember right, I think there's like a house down here in real life. It's quite funny. A house, I'd love to live right next, well actually I wouldn't like love to live right next to Oblivion because it'd be so loud. Can't imagine how they put up with it. But um, It'd be cool to be live right next to one towers, wouldn't it? Because then you could literally go there every day. And I'd work there, and it would be like amazing. But anyway. Right, so that is pretty much it done. Oh, Enterprise. I can't walk over there. I think it's N to go on that. It is, yeah. Okay, we'll sit on here and ride Enterprise. Oh, we're off! Finally! Let's go. Let's just start off spinning. Get some speed up. Obviously, if you don't know about, if you don't know about these uh, us Enterprises, they um, don't have any seatbelts or anything on. <laughs> it's the gravity that keeps you in place. It's very, very weird. <laughs> I don't think you have seatbelts. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you don't. I could be, I could be wrong. Wobbly a bit. Is it this wobbly in real life? <laughs> Probably is actually. I guess it's windy. And then we go up the top. I mean, it's like a Ferris wheel now, except we're going upside down at high speeds. I think it's going back down now. I can see it sort of angling back down. You wait longer than the actual ride is. I mean, that's normal, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. And obviously, you need to slow down. But in a way that you won't go flying out. And there we go. Okay, and we magic teleport over it next to Oblivion again. <laughs> so there's Enterprise. Now, the reason I don't want to really walk back over there is because if we go over here, I found a secret, which I'm going to show you a lot. Um, there's a smile again over there. But I think if we go up here, I found this last time, it's about exploring the paths. 
music changes. If you go through this, we're going to walk through a wall. We then walk through this little tunnel. This is very, this is very weird. You know, just a little garden area where the pagoda from the gardens is. So this is this. You can see this actual pagoda in the uh, in the Alton Towers gardens. This actually is in real life. Um, I don't know what it quite means being in this game. Like you can't even see the smile anymore. I think it's teleported us, and you can't see oblivion or anything. So this is very strange. I can't even walk that far. But yeah. There it is. It looks very nice. This music is very nice as well. Very relaxing. Don't know if it's just to show off the gardens that they have made something. But, um, or if it's just a cool secret. I don't know. It's very cool though. I do, I do like this. It's very weird. And now I'm actually back outside X Sector. It's very weird that thing. I don't know what it is, that little secret. But um, it is cool. I do like it. So. That is it for this video. We've explored the pre-release alpha thing, demo thing, what they called it. Uh, they also did a hex demo, which I might record that as well. But I don't know if I still got it. I'm going to have to find download again. But anyway. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!